Use of letters in place of numbers for writing a rule. Recap We use a letter in place of an unknown number. When we use a letter in place of a number, it is called an expression. A variable means something that can vary or change. The value of a variable is not fixed. Try to write an expression with the given information. Use the letter P. The bananas left after eating 4 bananas will be P minus 4. The number of chocolates each child gets when they are distributed equally among 7 children will be P upon 7. Write the expressions for each of the following statements. Question 2. P is multiplied by 6 and then 12 is added to the result. That gives us 6P plus 12. Question 5. 2 times a number increased by 5. Let the number be Y. Hence we get 2Y plus 5. Question 9. 2 times a number subtracted from 5 times the same number. Let the number be D. Hence we get 5D minus 2D. Represent the following mathematically. Question 11. A number increased by 12 is equal to 35. Let the number be A. Hence we get A plus 12 is equal to 35. Question 13. A number is doubled and then increased by 15 to get 40. Let the number be S. Hence we get 2S plus 15 is equal to 40. Now we know how to make use of letters in an expression. Can we use letters in mathematical formulas? Yes, of course. A formula is a mathematical rule that can be used to solve many problems of the same kind. A formula can be made of letters and numbers. Let's see some examples. You know how to find the area of a square. What is the formula? Area of a square is equal to side into side. Suppose we consider the side to be L. Area of a square is equal to L into L. You know how to find the area of a rectangle. What is the formula? Area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Suppose we consider the length to be L and the breadth to be B. Therefore, area of a rectangle is equal to L into B. You know what the diameter and radius of a circle are. What is the formula? Diameter is equal to 2 into radius. Suppose we consider the diameter to be D and the radius to be R. Then, D is equal to 2 into R. You know how to find the perimeter of a square. What is the formula? Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side. Suppose we consider the side to be L. Then, perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into L. Use the letters given in the brackets to write the following formulas. Question 15. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus 2 into breadth, P for perimeter, L for length and B for breadth. Therefore, P is equal to 2 into L plus 2 into B. Did you understand how to make use of letters in formulas? Yes, that's great. Equations with one variable. Equality. Do you know what the word equation means? An equation is a sentence in mathematics that has the equal to sign in it. Something here is equal to something there. What does the equal to sign mean? It tells us that things on both sides of the sign are the same or that they are equal. Something here is equal to something there. Look at this expression. What is 5 plus 9 equal to? 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. We know it is equal to 14. 
So, when we want to show something is equal to something else, we use the equal to sign. This sign is also called the sign of equality. We use this sign a lot in mathematics. We have seen that 5 plus 9 is equal to 14, right? Well, what is the value of 7 into 2? It is 14. 7 into 2 is equal to 14. So, can we say that 5 plus 9 and 7 into 2 are equal? Of course we can. 5 plus 9 is equal to 7 into 2 because 14 is equal to 14. So, in this statement, values of the expression on either side of the equal to sign are equal. Such a statement is called as an equality. Let's see one more example of an equality. 2 into 6 is equal to 8 plus 4. This is also an equality. Let's see how. 2 into 6 is equal to 12 and 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. Therefore, 2 into 6 is equal to 8 plus 4. This statement is an equality. Check if this is really an equality. 6 into 4 is equal to 30 minus 6. Now find the values of both the expressions. 6 into 4 is equal to 24 and 30 minus 6 is equal to 24. Therefore, we can say that this statement is an equality. And what about this? Is this also an equality? 63 divided by 7 is equal to 3 into 3. Now find the values of both the expressions. 63 divided by 7 is equal to 9 and 3 into 3 is equal to 9. This statement is an equality. Check if this is really an equality. 56 divided by 8 is equal to 6 plus 2. Now find the values of both the expressions. 56 divided by 8 is equal to 7 and 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. As the two values are different, this statement is not an equality. And what about this? Is this also an equality? 13 into 5 is equal to 70 minus 5. Now find the values of both the expressions. 13 into 5 is equal to 65 and 70 minus 5 is also equal to 65. As the two values are same, this statement is an equality. Are these equalities correct? 16 minus 9 is equal to 6 plus 4. No, 7 into 6 is equal to 22 plus 20. Yes, 9 minus 2 is equal to 10 minus 3. Yes, 40 divided by 8 is equal to 15 divided by 3. Yes, 10 minus 4 is equal to 2 into 2. No. Question 18. Figure out the rule from the following examples and write it using letters. 12 into brackets 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 into 10 plus into brackets 12 into 2. Let 12 be A, 10 be B and 2 be C. Hence we get A into brackets B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. Question 19. Figure out the rule from the following examples and write it using letters. 3 raised to 2 minus 2 raised to 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 into brackets into 3 minus 2 into brackets. Let 3 be x and 2 be y. Therefore, we get x square minus y square is equal to x plus y into x minus y. Now you know about equality. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.